Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand the ergonomics. So, let's get started. In the previous video, we learned that interaction framework provides a basis for discussing other issues related to interaction, ergonomics being one of them. So, let us first understand the definition of ergonomics. Ergonomics or human factors is the study of the physical characteristics of the interaction like how the controls are designed, the physical environment in which the interaction takes place, the layout and the physical qualities of the screen. A primary focus is on the user performance and how the interface enhances or detracts from this. Ergonomics also touch upon human psychology and system constraints. Now, let us look at few of the issues addressed by ergonomics. First is the arrangement of the controls and displays. Sets of controls and parts of the display should be grouped logically to allow rapid access by the user. This arrangement is crucial when considering safety critical applications like plant control, aviation and air traffic control. Following are few of the ways to organize these controls and displays. First is functional. Functionally related controls and parts of the display are placed together. For example, we can see under edit menu the controls are grouped as per their functionality, where one group consists of cut, copy, paste, whereas another group consists of find and replace. Next arrangement is sequential, where controls and displays are organized to reflect the order of their use in a typical interaction. For example, we can see under file menu, the options are arranged as per their use in an application, like we create or open a new file, save the file, print the file and then exit the application. Next arrangement is by frequency, where controls and displays are organized according to how frequently they are used, with most commonly used controls being the most easily accessible. Under search bar, we can see most frequently accessed applications. Thus, Users should be able to reach all controls and view all displays without excessive body movement. Lighting should also be arranged to avoid glare and reflection. Critical displays should be at eye level. Next issue addressed by ergonomics is the physical environment of the interaction. The physical environment in which the system is used may influence how well it is accepted and even the health and safety of its users. One of the considerations is the size of the users. In any system, the smallest users should be able to reach all the controls. This also includes special users like one on the wheelchair. And the largest user should not be cramped in the environment. In particular, all users should be comfortably able to see all critical displays. For long periods of use, the user should be seated for comfort and stability. Seating should provide a back support. If required to stand for longer duration, the user should have room to move around in order to reach all the controls. Next are the health issues addressed by ergonomics. First is the physical position. Users should be able to reach all controls comfortably. For long periods, support should be provided to allow rest. For example, wrist support while typing. Next is temperature. Extreme hot or cold temperature should be avoided. Next is lighting. Adequate lighting should be provided to allow users to see without discomfort or eye strain. The light source should be positioned to avoid glare affecting the display. Next is noise. Noise level should be maintained at a comfortable level in the work environment. Next is time. The time users spend using the system should also be controlled. For example, controlling the screen time of the user. And the next issue addressed is the use of color. 
As we know, human visual system has some limitations like the number of colors that are distinguishable and relatively low blue acuity. Also, relatively high proportion of the population suffers from a deficiency in color vision. So, certain guidelines should be followed, which are Colors used in the display should be as distinct as possible and the distinction should not be affected by changes in contrast. Blue should not be used to display critical information. If color is used as an indicator, then it should not be the only cue. Additional coding information should be included, for example labels. The colors used should also correspond to common conventions and user expectations. Like, we know that red indicates for stop or warning message, whereas green indicates normal or go and yellow indicates for standby. Cultural associations of the color should also be considered in designing systems and websites for a global market. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts please do let us know in the comment section below. If you have found this video helpful then do not forget to like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the HMI series. Bye bye.